when you spearheaded Beast Machines, did you have to come up with your own series Bible as well? And we did. All of the, any series that you see has a Bible written for it to tell the, uh, the writers who the characters are and where the series is going and to give people an idea what the tone is. I mean, you, every series needs a writer's Bible. Um, the foundation for Beast Machines was actually done by Marv Wolfman. He, uh, he wrote a presentation that, uh, that, that, that gave the overall situation, the overall, um, um, the overall plot for the series. And when Marty and I were brought in, we, um, we were, we were given a directive that they wanted to do a series that was very spiritual in, na in nature. So we took what Marv had done, which was a traditional kind of science fiction story, which was really good and really solid. And then we, you know, added our own spin onto it, following the directives from the folks at Hasbro. And what they said was, they want the series to be different from anything we've seen before, as much of a departure from Beast Wars as Beast Wars was from the original Transformer shows. Which is quite a big ask when you think about it. But they said, you know, we want to do a series that is, uh, uh, you know, it's based on spirituality. And my response was, no, you don't. <laughs> like, no, 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 that's what we want to do. We, we, we want to give this thing a really spiritual under. I'm like, you, no, you, oh, no, you really, okay, let me show you what that looks like. And then I, we started writing. And the more that we gave them, the more they encouraged us and wanted us to do more, which really surprised the hell out of me. And uh, and at one point I just said, you know, why don't we just make this a 26 episode, uh, you know, religious epic for television. And, uh, and I thought at that point they would put their foot down and say, you're insane. We made a big mistake. But no, they were like, they just, they just loved the whole idea. So we ran with it and we wound up with a series that I'm remarkably proud of. I mean, I'm more proud of Beast Machines than pretty much anything else I've ever done. So, uh, so yeah, I just really loved doing it. It was a lot of fun to do. It was a lot of work to do. It's a series that was, it's a, it's a 24-7 job. It's like you go to sleep at night thinking, okay, what do I have to do tomorrow? And you wake up in the morning thinking, okay, what does the show need now? And it was just all encompassing. It was just all, uh, just, <laughs> my whole life was just about it. So yeah, it was uh, um, extremely, extremely all-consuming.